Coach, uh, congratulations on making the NCAA uh, tournament again. Just talk a little bit about the excitement of being back in a regional for the second straight year with this team. Uh, it's it's great to know a little bit more in advance. Like last year, we were down to the last minute. We were the second to last team to make it into the regional. This year, uh, being ranked in the top 10%, had a little bit more comfort. Then it was about where you were going. So, uh, you know, it's what we do every day. We, we train hard every day in our workouts and our studies on the golf course. So uh, it's it's terribly exciting. It's, uh, it's an expected level of performance for the squad that we have right now. So uh, obviously we're excited that it has come to fruition. How ex your team is really playing well right now. You know, you had that rough first round of the ACC championship, but really came back and fought back hard. How important was that coming into this regional? You know, it's critical. There's, there's golf is so strange. You, you think that you've got it figured out and then an anomaly like a 321 happens. Uh, our scoring average is 291 going into the SEC championship, and to have a round like that, you can't explain it. We could blame it some on weather. It was terrible. We shouldn't have played. All that aside, there, there, it just happens. And so you have to move forward from days like that. If you carry it with you, you know that round two and three are going to be pitiful. Um, we chose to not let it bother us, and they were mature enough to handle that, and, and it shows where we're going in the future as well. So I, I look for great things, and they work hard, so hard every day that we're not going to let one round dictate our success or failure. Just not going to let it happen. You have a great group of veterans with Allie and Rika and Mary Langdon. Talk a little bit about how important that is, you know, coming in with a couple of newcomers that are going to get their first taste of NCAA play. Well, and to, to quote uh, a coach, Van Studeman, they drank the Kool-Aid. Those three drank the Kool-Aid when we started changing the climate and the culture of Mississippi State women's golf. That It's on their backs that they've earned the respect that we now enjoy uh, in collegiate ranks. We are getting invited to the most elite golf tournaments in college golf because of our improvement and because of the fact that they're well-liked and they're great sportsmen of the game. And it, it's their belief and their leadership, though, that we are enjoying what we are today. And the expectations then change. Um, we expect to go to regionals and we expect to play a good three days to go to the national championship. And it is, it is because of them buying in and the efforts every single day and the example they set for these other younger classmates, uh, it, it's critical. It, it's, it's just critical and they've been a shining example of what we hoped would happen and what we work hard every day to make sure happens, uh, that they believe, that they just believe that they can and they deserve and they're doing the work. How well have had your freshmen come in and fit in, Jessica and, and Jamie. How, how, I mean, it seems like they just meshed in well. With you know, you recruit and you pray that they fit, but these girls have fit perfectly. They they came in and they're they're hard workers. They push everybody uh, to see Jessica playing so well. She's played at the highest level as an amateur all over the world, uh, and played it as a as an amateur in some professional events in China. Um, JB has, has perfectly fit in as well. She is a funny young lady, really smart and an incredible work ethic, but also has played in the US Junior and multiple AJGA events, won one right before she came here as a freshman. So uh, the chemistry is perfect. And, and you hope that you recruit people and the chemistry is good. You, you, it's, at the end of the day, you really don't know. So it's, it's, it's a blessing to find out that once they're here, that it, it's all working, so. You, you come into this having played in Oklahoma again last year. Mm -hmm. Is there a little sense of familiarity there, you know, although you're not on the same course? Yeah, you know, it, Oklahoma's got good juju. Golfers are kind of uh, <laughs> a little bit, uh, if a glove fits a certain way, you kind of want to save it for an event. You really want to win. Uh, if you're swinging a certain way and you're hitting the ball really well, you kind of want to keep it. Uh, sometimes it's, but it's the state of Oklahoma for us right now. And uh, it's a great place to be because they played so well and we've earned this right to go, but we go back to the place that was good to us. So uh, got a lot of great feelings going into it. How, how do you feel that this course sets up your team? Well, they've got Zoysia Fairways, which is just f mighty fine. Uh, the golf ball sits up really nicely and, uh, and bent grass greens. So bent grass is just known for not having grain 
And so what you see the putt should do, it does. And so it's a little bit easier to read, not so much calculations. Um, and they're softer to receive shots most of the time. So we look really forward. It's a, it's a great setup for us as a team. Uh, you have to be really um, precise off the tee box. We do. We hit a lot of fairways. So it's, it's really going to play well for us. And just talk about the, the rest of the competition in, in the regional. How do you think you know, your team matches with, with the rest of the teams in there? Well, every region's tough, and there's three for us, and uh, you've got your automatic qualifiers that might or might not be a, a competitive program, and so that whittles away a few. A few are going to be young and never have been there before, so those are going to drop back. So, you know, you look at it in odds and statistics, and you, you hope that they come out in your favor, and you know that, that our team is competitive as anybody else, and it's a three-day golf tournament just like any other three-day golf tournament, and you've got a job to do, and we're going to tee it up and play, and it's, it's we've really focused these last few years on controlling what you can control and so the factors like weather or what somebody else shoots are certainly not within your control so all our efforts are put forth to our process and our belief and our motivation to get through regionals all right well coach thank you and good luck uh, in the regional thank you <laughs>